Shopping for a height adjustable desk and need that extra space to work with? Desky has you covered. Watch this. That was quick. Now I've gone with the classic oak desktop and a white frame, and this shouldn't take any more than 45 minutes to put together, so let's do this. All you're gonna need is a pair of scissors, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a size 10 open spanner to complete this easy assembly. Now you could use a power drill as well, but it's not completely necessary. In an open, clean and dry space, preferably the one you'll be keeping your desk in once it's assembled, leave the desktop size boxes unopened for now, but open all the other boxes, laying the items out on a protected area to avoid them becoming scratched. And be sure to account for all the parts out of each box prior to throwing away any packaging. And you can find a full list of parts inside the included instruction manual, which we'll also be following today. Now we're ready to assemble the L-shaped desky. We'll start by assembling each of the three legs for the desk first, then assemble the main part of the desk before attaching the return side to it. With the two crossbar ends attached out of the box, Use the small hex key to loosen the eight grub screws holding the crossbar ends together. Then slide apart these crossbar ends and separate the parts, keeping the crossbar rails to the side for later. Next, position the crossbar end on its side with holes facing upwards and insert a leg into the crossbar end so the holes from the side of the leg line up with the holes on the crossbar end. Carefully insert the C10 screws through the crossbar and into the leg, and then using the large hex key that's provided, screw them all into place, but do not completely tighten any of them yet. And we'll do this for both sides of the leg. Next, we're gonna attach the side bracket to the back of the leg assembly. Now with the leg assembly on a supported angle like this, I find is the easiest way to insert and tighten the screws. Position a side bracket flush against the back of the crossbar so the four holes line up with each other. Using four C10 screws, tighten the two outside screws first before tightening the two inside screws. Once these are secure, then you can completely tighten the other four C10 screws on the side of the leg from the earlier steps. Now it's time to add the feet to the leg assembly. With pads facing up on the foot, position it on top of the leg and insert four C10 screws into the leg, hand tightening them all first before screwing them down nice and tight in a crisscross pattern. And now we can go ahead and repeat all those previous steps exactly the same way for the other two legs. Next, remove the larger of the desktops from the box and place it down with the bottom side facing up. Here, we're assembling the main part of the desky. Locate a leg assembly with the controller bracket shown on the inside of the crossbar end and place this on the upturned desky on the opposite side of the return joins. Align the holes on the side bracket with those to the side of the desk. Next, using those two crossbar rails, have their hollow cutouts facing inwards to each other and insert these rails into the crossbar end. Now position a leg assembly onto the opposite side of the desky and slide the rails into its crossbar end, connecting the two legs. From here, adjust the width of the frame by pulling those two halves apart until all holes on the desktop line up with those of the side bracket. Ensure the cable management attachment holes are facing towards the back of the desk. Insert and secure three screws into the side bracket and then tighten in place. There's also an additional screw on the inside of the crossbar to secure as well. And then do this for both sides of the desky. From here, align the crossbar rails to be centered and then using that small hex key, screw the eight grub screws into the crossbar and secure these rails nice and tight. Now, if you've purchased a cable management channel like this one, now is the best time to be placing it into position. It's important to note here that the cable management channel can only be fitted to this main section of the L-shaped desky. Slide one end of the cable channel into the side bracket and extend the length to meet the opposite side. Next, tighten the centre knob of the channel. This way we secure it from sliding back out before we insert the spring-loaded release screws into each of the side brackets, lifting the channel up to do so. And then once in place, your channel will be held up nice and secure. So next, we're gonna secure the control box to our desktop 
and this will depend on whether we have this cable channel or not. Be sure to check out our in-depth video on this cable management channel if it is something you've purchased or are interested in. But without that cable channel, we're gonna position the control box to the desktop between the two crossbar rails. Attach the control box by sliding it onto the controller bracket of a crossbar end. Now get a friend to help you flip the deskie and then move it into its final position to begin assembling the return side. So next, position the return side of the desky bottom side up on the floor and place the third leg assembly on the opposite side to where the desktop joins. Line up the side bracket with the pre-drilled holes and then use 4C10 screws to secure this leg in place. To attach the control panel to the desky, you'll find pre-drilled holes available on either side just under the edge for left or right installation. Line up the pre-drilled holes in the desktop with those of the controller and then use two C11 wood screws to secure the controller in place. I find leaving it slightly loose now, I can get it perfectly aligned once I've flipped the desky up. Once the controller is attached, flip the return side over now to begin attaching the two desky tops together. Once into position, add the circular biscuit joiners to the designated cutout grooves on the side edge of the main desky, making sure to leave enough of them hanging out for the return side grooves to attach into. Carefully now position the return desky into position, tightly pressing it up against the main desky and then checking to see it's nice and flush. Next, we'll need to comfortably position ourselves under where the desky joins. And with those three butterfly or mitre bolts and a size 10 spanner in hand, here we'll attach the desky tops together more permanently. Make sure you have an angled bracket on each side of where the cutout holes are, and it helps to hand tighten these nuts first before using the spanner to tighten them securely in place. Use the grooves in the desky to get a better rotation on the spanner. Now it's time to connect the cables from the control panel and from each leg to the control box. The leg closest to the control box can be plugged in quite simply, and you'll find extension leads to be used for the other two legs. With an extension lead, plug in one side into the legs cable, and then run the other to the control box and plug it in there. And three to four well-positioned adhesive backed cable clips can easily keep any hanging cords up and away or with the cable channel, you can run all your cables through the channel hassle-free. And the last is the power cord. Once plugged into the control box, I wouldn't secure this with cable ties just yet until the desky is raised to its maximum height to ensure you have enough cable length in it. And now all I need to do is initiate the controller to set the heights. Press and hold the down button until the desky reaches its lowest position. Then press and hold the down button again until the display reads RST or reset. Press the down button again, and the desky will bop up and down for a second, display the height, and is now ready to use. And if you have any questions, be sure to get in contact with the team at desky.com.au and check out the other great videos on the range. It's time for lunch. Yeah, you guessed it, sushi.